Hey, Benny, Vice President Lizer here on the May 25th Town Hall update. It's good to be with you all. Thank you for joining us. And uh, as we always do, we get started with a word of prayer, a benediction to start our meeting off here, where you'll be receiving key updates and new information from our health professionals and much more uh, from the Office of the President and Vice President here as we uh, mitigate and see dwindling numbers on our land. So we appreciate you all and uh, we appreciate uh, the ability to come to our Creator God, DM God, with prayer to start our day off. So without further ado, let us begin. Uh, yeah, DM God. We thank you that we can arise, shine, and uh, be awakened to your plans for us, Lord. You order our steps, and Father, you fortify us, Lord, for those that wish to join you in your present work here. And Lord, as we see our numbers dwindling, we pray and we give this to you, Lord, that the people of the land not be overzealous or uh, not be um, uh, too confident in themselves, Lord, but we give you, again, your full honor, your full um, um on earth and uh, just uh, your commitment to see that your people flourish in the land. So, Lord, we pray that we could be right-minded and our hearts girded up, Lord, and protected by you and your truth and your ways, Father. Pray for all of the citizens of the Neta, the land that you set us here, Lord. We're thankful and we're grateful, Lord, that we can come to you this morning and again each day and uh, pray and work for the benefit of the people of the Navajo Nation. Yeah, we thank you. We give you this time. Let us be and work and then honor you for your great wisdom, Lord. So we uh, we beseech you. We, we pray to heaven, Lord, that you would give us your plan and your fortification as we pray and seek the benefit of all the people. Lord, let no one be forgotten, for you wish that no one would perish. We thank you again and give you praise, honor, and glory. It's to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. In God. Amen and amen. Thank you this morning again. Uh, we appreciate you. And now without further ado, we have our President Jonathan Nez uh, standing in the wings. Mr. President. Uh, thank you, uh, Vice President. And uh, thank you for their prayer. Yes, uh, thank you, everyone, for um, tuning in. Last week, uh, we only had one uh, town hall meeting and this week we are back to Tuesdays and Thursdays. I know that we're probably uh, slowing down on the, the viewers, the folks that are tuning in, because you know we have seen uh, low numbers here on the Navajo Nation, but there is still um, information that we want to get give to the Navajo citizens. Um, and if you have any questions for us, um, by all means, um, put it in the comments and we'll get either Dr. Jill Jim or Dr. Burridge from Tuba City uh, or our healthcare professionals to answer some of those uh, questions that you might have and so don't don't feel like um, you don't want to ask those questions please by all means do that uh, Dana in Lee, um, Tunneshe do Chinli do Chichibi Togon Sikri. A agent Yinat Ani Bishata Sikli Ado Lana da no Senegisha, Eshi Kodo Nalso Speka da Yila, don't hitch a Koda Yila. The Koda don't need the best on here. Chidet anechido in Satno. What are a ya bilisasit link don't lay a neshe the do a jahot zogi a the nekehat in the gibi a la kedahat in the kindas nelegi a township de slinigi. Edo bilisasit link 
not any than the nigi. So Edo Okiet of the Nido Les Kudo Lambina Nishida y Lada Ado Edo Kudo Hanet Bichacodelia Dean Lay Washington, the E. Beso Shin Angi Nijacodine, the American Rescue Plan Act funds will yego. So Eben Nacha E. Stadda di Neco, the Nenny Cleany that he no got ah. Da we at Ranas and the best door, best pass and best a on his bells and do that. The Dina Snegi A. D. J. A. Ya. Um, the Dator Nagi A. Tratin the Miliage Doba A. So Snezzan Tinoba A. Sabatin, the Nels Aweco. He can even never the door now. Ado Yat and the Snegi Ya. Di Zel in Daz Nelegi Adano, a ya di each das crea, Nenegi in a dinast, a demiliage. Do di nezentin doba aunt, say B, an elt, or a yik any in Nayad and a slain in te. Just a ya corn his bed as a do di the cousin scraggy na 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 snigi, do. But that all not do yet end as link do do a bit is be be yet done de. Sashing a a bit is which end as deep. A slightly his bed has an issue do a con but so deals. She can not sling yet end a dot less. Ado ade than he not again lay a Las Vegas tent or than he not. Ado con the navigator of a car, uh, than he can navigate it or share. Ado dinos tragido, uh, con the unhalchen da istra, don da stra, uh, edo con tradi car, than he can not do, uh, share the bedin ralchen. Do ye go that ido, a dinos in the Nantinejo, Abja, Ashton, Daly. Though she got out a ya, you know, Nishidel net or less teach. Other hand net or con a mini ya. Now I get up, uh, could all be any nashi which Ashton at that net, that set. Edo, uh, balance that kiss you do less. Naso net nijer. A hot out a ya con tane chato was his in the English. The Krevi Tinny Carnal, because she a ya Hitchacodal Yadon Hadas Edo Shir, Edo Shinna, Yanish Dasha, Don Yanish Dasha, by Hent Needs Lee Kin Sunday. Dot and he not do, jet is ade, send a fade at the than he not gi a yat e host do de do, put a ya um yat e than he did need all this do com. He can eat nan, it's a dajit denigi and it's a da old de a ya asla the millions of our tran is the dinner of our asla knelt a con, he can eat nan. Uh, it's other jit than Ishiko, uh, big aid and Lenigi do, big est and Lenigi shido, uh, but so deals in our quiche, DNA ya con, uh, but art, arts of spells in ya, ado, edo, a bitch the dead, ego, ishing ye can't not do our quiche, didn't be in that shin so the dasta, better so zee, edo. A quichin she would a Yanamish day in the other skin of thing. I don't know, she did not quite the never care of a car or a yard skit. Yard skit gada, um, a ya are on a kid a ya, but that old Natla, Nick any hit na. Ado, Ado, Nick's arch tender. A she a hot out not not in tea as such. Hot out. A ya not sauce. And this cragido not sauce. This inigishi could a bananish not sauce. Bikikada yilla. 
So Edo Ajin Dad Nashigi, Kujets is Bahiaj, or it's Isiki, there's Igi, Yega da Ichtragi, what Abadan Shidish on Edo Shed, Nahab Bedini Dolles. Ado D. D. Gohot, so yet the Le Colorado, do so Lehot, so Hosdohot, so do Kuja, um, your Tohot, so Oj, D. Gohot, a ya. Uh, uh, it's not that it's Nakitsa <laughs> ndatkhato Nikhil <laughs> Isnost Kedahatinigi <laughs> Washington, 
you know, good, good morning, everybody. We have um, our first slide here. Um, and uh, we want to let everybody know uh, the protocols here on the Navajo Nation continue to be uh, still similar in effect since uh, 2020. Uh, one of those is your mask mandate. We are still requiring everybody to wear masks here on the Navajo Nation. I know you heard CDC say you don't have to wear a mask if you are vaccinated, right? Uh, the thing there is, how do we know people are vaccinated, you know? Some of you don't want to show your card because that's a... Uh, you know, that's personal information, which I understand. And so what we said here is we're just going to continue to wear the mask into this pandemic until we at least get a larger percentage of our people vaccinated. And, uh, you know, we, we are looking at... Uh, 30,780 of our Navajo people that have caught the virus thus far. Uh, 29,408 have been, have recovered. You know, that, that number has always uh, needs to be updated and there's a lag in getting information. But I uh, just want, want to let you all know that we are tracking to the best of our ability the um, the recovery rate. 
1,301 uh, total confirmed deaths. Again, our thoughts and prayers go out to our Navajo people, our relatives, you know, for going through uh, this difficult time with the loss of their family member. You know, within 24 hours, there has been two new cases and zero reported deaths. But we are being very cautious and that's why we are uh, continuing our mask mandate. You know, as we begin to discuss reopening our Navajo Nation, you know, once we reopen the nation, you know, we, we don't know where our visitors are. We're not, you know, we're not gonna be asking for their cards, um, you know, we, we, we're gonna be seeing a, a, probably a big increase in visitors because it's all been over a year and uh, people wanna come and visit and see the scenery. So we're talking right now about that, about how safely to reopen. And one way to safely reopen is to continue to wear our masks. That protects you our Navajo citizen and also protects our visitors as well. And so if you're out there, once we do reopen, you know, people will, will be wearing masks. And we also uh, request and demand too that our visitors wear masks here on the Navajo Nation once, once we do reopen. So those are in discussions right now. And we want to just let everybody know too that uh, we appreciate the patience of our Navajo citizens and the patience of our visitors because we have uh, been hit hard here on the Navajo Nation. If you go to the second slide, it just continues to show you a progression. You know, the color coded part of this chart shows you the, the first part of March of last year where the weekend lockdowns um, were put in place and it took some time for us to uh, really begin to see some decline. It's not until we really put in that 57 hour uh, lockdown, we see some real known low numbers, but right around uh, Memorial Day is where we started to see an uh, increase. This like when we started to lessen the restrictions we saw an increase and once we saw that increase into the winter uh man we we got hit into you know over 400 cases in a day at one time 300 and 200 and then uh, i think that's when we uh, began to get the uh, vaccines and the vaccines i truly believe help bring those numbers down uh, and that's where we're at uh, in May with some very low numbers. So that's been the progression of the COVID-19 pandemic here on the Navajo Nation. If you go to the next slide, it shows you the comparison between the United States of America and the Navajo Nation. And you can see the brown uh, is the Navajo Nation and the darker colored blue is the United States of America and because of the vaccines you see a real big decrease in COVID cases and deaths and what we want to reiterate is that there's a myth out there and listen to me on this uh, is and please uh, let people know this is that people are saying that well I caught the virus already early on so i don't need the shot because um i have the in my system the way naturally to push back on the virus but you can still catch it and uh you know we had a, an example of that in the tuba city area western agency where an elderly individual still had both shots still caught the virus but because this individual had the shots, didn't get very sick and was able to transition quickly out and recovered, fully recovered. So let's not fall into that myth 
that um, since you caught it, you're not going to catch it. You still can catch it. And this is going to be an ongoing virus that's going to be around for some time is what we're being told. We might have to get booster shots come winter. And this might be just like a, a daily, uh, annually uh, flu shot that some receive. So it just seems like COVID-19 is, is here to stay. And it's just how we protect ourselves into the future. We can really push back on the virus. But here we have uh, a large percentage of our Navajo people who've gotten vaccinated. As we remember, the 12 and 15-year-olds have been given the uh, approval to get the Pfizer vaccination. So now total, including the young people, 12 to 15 years old, uh, 247,165. If you, if you notice that, that's been the same uh, amount of vaccine for some time that have been given to the Navajo Nation. 224,081 of those doses were given to our Navajo people. And keep in mind, that's the first and second shots and Johnson and Johnson one dose too. But uh, overall, those that are fully vaccinated, that's two shots of Moderna, uh, two shots of Pfizer or one shot of Johnson and Johnson, 103,574 of our Navajo citizens have been totally uh, vaccinated here on the Navajo Nation. So what we received, um, what was uh, administered, 90.70, I'm sorry, 90.7%. And we did ask uh, the federal government, Department of Health and Human Services, IHS, for additional doses since we're at the 90 plus uh, usage um, of our, our vaccines that have been given to Navajo. The next slide just shows you a comparison. You know, this fluctuates at time. We always give you the neighboring, the four cornered states is uh, statistics. Just so because of traveling, you know, you just got to be very careful uh, when you're traveling. And you can see Colorado right now is the second in the nation in COVID positive seven day uh, rate and Colorado is right under Delaware. You look at the PowerPoint right now, you see the second red line. You might not be able to read it, but that's Colorado. The first one is um, the uh, uh, state of Delaware. And, uh, and then the next one below that is Utah. And then the third line there is Arizona. And the fourth is New Mexico. The yellow line there is uh, Navajo Nation. As you can see, based on two weeks ago, last week, you can see these lines moving up again. Uh, the red ones especially moving up. So just be very careful uh, when you're out there and visiting, um, you know, these states are off the nation. You know, here on the Navajo Nation, you go to a supermarket, you still get your temperature check. Uh, you still um, are utilizing or asked to utilize hand sanitizers and also uh, um, social distancing. The next uh, uh, PowerPoint is our variant count. You know, you have the, the UK variant, the uh, South African variant that's out there, the Brazilian variant, the California variant. So the B117 is the UK variant, which is prevalent, and it's within um, all uh, 50 states now. 
in a lot of places here in the United States. So these are random samples. You know, we haven't had a lot of people come down with the virus. So these are random samples of those that caught the virus. Uh, this is a report as of May 24th, uh, 2021. So there's really not that many um, tests that are being used, but when they do monitor that, you can see uh, that eight have been identified in Chinle. This is the UK variant. Ten in Gallup, one in Kienta, two in Sage Memorial Hospital, ten in Brock, seven in Tuba City. So overall, 38 um, UK variants. The South African variant, we don't have any cases of that here on the Navajo Nation. The P13 Brazil, Brazilian variant, we have we had one uh, report in Kayenta and one in the Utah Navajo Health System. That's two overall the Brazilian variant. The California variant, which is again prevalent in the southwest, you know, Four Corners, California, Nevada. Um, there, the B1427 and, and the 429, you got one Chinle and uh, zero in Crown Point, three in Gallup, five in Kienta, five in Shiprock, four in Tuba City, and that's 18. So these variants uh, are here. And because, again, because of the the, uh, the vaccines, you know, the vaccines do push back on these variants as well. So, you know, we really want to encourage you to, to consider being vaccinated. Those of you that are still on the fence, uh, your young people are coming in. They're probably asking you as parents, I want the shot. Um, and, you know, our young people are wanting to go back to school. They're wanting to go hang out with their friends. They're, uh, they're really <laughs> actually excited to be uh, getting a shot. And um, parents, you have to, you know, accompany them to give consent. So those parents that are still on the fence, if you're already taking your child over to get vaccinated, you know, you might as well get a shot too, you know, make it a, a family uh, event. And so we encourage everyone uh, here on the Navajo Nation to get vaccinated. 75%, ladies and gentlemen, is our goal. We're getting close to that goal of our people fully vaccinated. You know, I've heard uh, over 50% as, as uh, even over 70% of our Navajo people, Navajo residents, being vaccinated. So, you know, we just continue to monitor that and uh, you know, checking data and getting information is pretty um, time consuming because, you know, the, our people are out there giving shots, but at the same time, they have to report to the, to the nation. And so that tends to be a, uh, a lag in, in getting information to, to us to, to share with all of you. But what we want is to get as many people vaccinated. So at the same time, get you accurate information. Um, so what we're going to be doing right now uh, into the near future, I mean, it's it's been like around that, uh, that green and yellow transition line. You know, that sometimes we're in yellow, and then we drop into green, and then we get a big a number of cases in one day, puts us back in yellow so there's really not no seven day or 14 day of just nothing but green to get us into that green category so we're going to have to reevaluate that i think in order for us to to do that we also need to make sure we have a, a good number of our naval citizens vaccinated so i'll stop there and uh, i'm sure uh, the rest of the team members will also give you an update on the public health emergency orders. I know I was in Kienta yesterday. They were all happy about getting the 
Wednesday flea markets back open, which is tomorrow. Uh, you know, that's uh, one uh, one item that's going to be in the new public health emergency order that started uh, yesterday. And you have to follow the requirements, the guidelines for flea markets as well. Keep everybody safe. But that's one of others that uh, Dr. Jim will will also uh, share with you today in the new public health emergency order that was um, issued out and which started yesterday. So uh, appreciate uh, everyone being on the call and thank you so much for the hard work that you all are doing now as citizens. And it's because of you, you know, we, you, and all of us are saving lives here on the Navajo Nation. Of course, uh, we lost some of our family members and our thoughts and prayers again go out to them. Uh, throughout these difficult times and uh, we were out there with some graduations and seeing some people uh, starting to, you know, getting back to some normal and that was great to see. Congratulations to the graduates. Uh, we'll be doing some graduations this week again, as we did for the last two weeks. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I know the high school and the, and the colleges are able to do uh, in person graduations but not for the other, like the eighth grade promotions, but they'll have their, um, you know, a time for celebration, I'm sure, uh, once we get out of this pandemic. So thank you so much. Take care of yourself. Keep your mask on, uh, social distance, wash your hands, and stay at home as much as you can. And I'm going to turn the time over to our Vice President, uh, Vice President Myron Lizer. God bless everyone. All right, thank you, Mr. President, for your updates. Appreciate all the info. Uh, real shortly here, as I always do, give updates on our surrounding area. Uh, we continue to pray for our nation and all our citizens. Uh, heed the messaging as your leadership is uh, putting out there. And I appreciate our president's exemplary leadership in this uh, fight against COVID 19. Actually, in route to a site, tour site here, uh, yeah, clean up potentially. But, um, you know, uh, real quick in my uh, little uh, piece here, the White House will announce a new partnership with Uber and Lyft to make all rides to and from vaccination sites free until July 4th, third Biden-Harris administration officials. People will be uh, able to simply select a vaccination site near them, follow simple directions to redeem their ride, and get a free ride to take them to and from a uh, nearby vaccination site free of charge. So. That's a good thing there. So that's a, a new national development, but I know we have our own Navajo Nation citizens abroad and all the metropolitan areas and the places where uh, Uber and Lyft uh, work. So uh, on a Arizona, more regional and state level focus here, uh, total positive cases lead here in uh, four months into this, uh, three months into this, 877,682 cases in Arizona total and um, 500 new cases. So it looks like that there haven't been, uh, 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 yeah, 500 for a, a state that has 6 million residents is, I guess, pretty good, pretty low. So I'll continue to be safely checked out there. Apache County, 11,398 with one new case. So that's good. Navajo County, 16,386 with zero cases to report. So that is excellent. And Coconino County, rounding out our tri-county area in Arizona here, 17,871 with zero cases to report. Uh, some news. New Mexico, 202,221 total cases here in three months in with 366 new cases as of uh, this morning. So uh, stamping it out pretty well in New Mexico. Good job. San Juan County, they're in northwestern New Mexico, 15,000. 344 with 61 new cases. A little high there. I think there, there's still some concern there for searching. Careful out there. Gallup McKinley County, our neighbors here, 12,334 with eight new cases to report. Utah rounding out our tri state area that touches on our Navajo Nation. 404,477 with 231 new cases. In San Juan County, there in South. Eastern Utah, 1,914. Uh, the Utah Navajo Health System is reporting 
1,098 with three new additional cases, COVID-19 virus to report. So as you know, uh, social gatherings, we do have all of the uh, graduations that are going on, birthday parties, uh, such as a family dinner, uh, um, get togethers and whatnot with friends. I know the temptation is to uh, you know uh, meet and, and uh, be a little bit more freer, but uh, still have to uh, display and maintain protocols here. So be safe out there. Practice physical distancing and wearing masks, eating your hands, sanitizing. Uh, be safe as you uh, limit gatherings with uh, members not in your household. So be uh, responsible for, for that as well. Also, uh, a little blurb by my um, staff, um, Adam McGay, appreciated by Navo, by local shopping on the Navo Nation is the safest and greatest way of life. Appreciate that. It lines up with our philosophy here at the Des Lizer administration to buy Navo, buy local. When you do, we all win. Our children win. Our grandchildren win. So a very important, needed vital message here. So that's the latest from the office of the vice president here. Again, we appreciate our president and everything that he does and the leadership as well. Again, we're all in this together. So continue to be safe out there. And I'd like to bring up our own Dr. Jill Jim, who's going to be giving her updates here. And uh, we appreciate her leadership as well, leading the charge with our health professionals and our health system here. Uh, we're all in this together. We'll, uh, we'll see the day soon and very soon that uh, COVID-19 will be stamped out here. We're looking forward to those zero days. Let's string many more of those. Let that be our challenge. So will you join us and rise to the challenge? Let's stamp out COVID. God bless you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Jill Jim, our executive director of our Department of Health and Abilities. Take it away. Thank you, Vice President. Thank you for your kind words and reminder of um, all the precautions that we need to do and safe travels for you too. And President, while you're out there and she's not on in the do, I can't non pedin ni do che Dr. Jill Jimmy and she do don the end of the look on the shot touching me for this chain. Do is she ain't just a che dot is a funny that's another. I don't know this on the eyes in a shot or without astonishing though it's east by her young day big at in she ain't do. Or she is so called the public health emergency order. You're going to get um, they had this sito called the is it in the Dunlinico, um, town hall and do had that so the PowerPoint of any game. Let me go ahead and share the PowerPoint here. Um, called the non, um, President Nez and then the um, called the on the cheat on his it. The get us get do a change in the sozon at the yard to get that that any do new at Honda guest do at the hot and that they know increasing um after a knock it on the which it got other quite a non a um CDC or the Nigi um a and get it hit it with a um health um recommendations in the year in the a um I thought that the more I don't is when I don't a Quite the um not or sick or a co quite in his chink on his head of the guest get the ah um ah quite um head up with head up or sick or with with quite the meaning that the affair or the head other would odd no a daughter that did not be quite the ah quite the how one door does the raho angel the shanta ado on the quite the angel rada or couldn't at all or that the Joga, a quite on his chin on his head, but yes, kid. A day no sympathy, no doors or a yard by husband. Um, a hot odd on Belhazen, the sheep of Lagana at our need than care at the party. Ah, quite a part of her needs and don, he ate on his and add on, he must send on his chain and lunishing. Once a day cares or date and do, and her astonishing all within the head in her door, but she had been till she did so. She quite the um, dig at that a time. There's a diggy quite the January, January, and that a quite a yaga. This yaga this kid of the COVID 19 been that she did is a um, the Haloniki, the question sagging us. It's other other the what end of your home making the quite the Hamasan than the eight or yaga, but Hatahanes get a door 
to um eto kaipeta te ne tande ko te hoyata te nda hege at um eto kosin chaigi na sets ata ka di e ka um beta des na e hot a asing iso pe des ka di na ka chen na ka chen bet ya ta ti a a shi ka di um ka di ultra nda is ka shi ka da cha ati da cha sa da ta ande ka chen in summer break ka ni gi ka di um it na de in don de ka di bet ya ta ti a shi ho wa do ta ti ga ta ti ta ti ga ho da a ha shi ne sha chen do ga ti ga ni de shi Zedo and the cheap girls to get up at Dona. I would ask you to quite a deal, but I must need a door other, um, a craggy shade or so, and finish up this Hansen. Other public health emergency order A, the reopening status A, I yellow, the green A, quite a 75% A, crab, all businesses will reopen at 75%. But the only way we get there. At the Nikki Angle into the green status, we have to have at least, I mean, less than 15 cases a day. And Dr. Bridge will talk about that. At the Quaidi, and he can add on here then, um, a at the the question side, you know, it's at the Quaid, then the Dalin Asia, the other on Nikki and the Zunigisha, a Quaidi is there, but I know that the now, so I see on here the Navage, a day, she or she did, I would, um, we can go into the green status for the other. Ada public health emergency order number 11A Kwaiti, um, Adanda A Kwaiti, um, it was effective, uh, public health emergency was effective yesterday, A Adanda. So, um, so I don't know that NAA, uh, we were already allowing businesses at 50% A, um, outdoor dining, and I thought 50% that the Nina, Ada. Um, personal care and services aids appointment only though um, other areas that we were looking at a eh, lodging the campgrounds that and eh, they were at fifty percent although casinos the art quite um are that um all cut up at me quite twin arrows though fire rock though northern edge quite all cut up at me flowing um water aid at the that they called the beat me to a quite it's a really in a confined space. You think that not the are you questioning the physical distancing and the negation to be got the issue have how she be got the question on on the daily the needs in the stock. Okay, um, twin errors a out there quite a deep casino. Um, I should bet the hard name quite a deep on a day level. Um, a quite a or it's a hard exercise quite a deep hitching quite a common in your life even not to addition. Other restaurants, a connect, um, are connect the Adanagi a quite fifty percent go at the daily. It's a twenty five percent in that, so a they go a um question um um at different kind restaurants to have on the vision, a could they can operate at fifty percent. Other marina and parks, so I don't have that deep enough though. A twenty five percent in that in public health order number nine. Under 11A, they're supposed to be operating at 50%. For Navajo Nation residents, citizens, and employees, but no visitors and tourists, and they have guidelines out there uh, so that those parks, um, such as lakes, fishing, those um, are all open now. So, other museums and zoo, zoo, the Bacan, the A, and public health order the number 11, I think I added, we added zoo on there. A 25% in that, um, got a 50%. So there are several museums on the Navajo Nation, Asia, got on that also. Uh, dog, a dog, a day, um, at the Daniel, any gay, quite a day youth program. So any gay, quite a safety team, at the quite, um, by a day, get to highlight all youth programs, quite a day, to quite a clinic and that is quite a day, she's been not to hate all the, is all that the net that the no, she quite a day. Um, at the Bayati safety guidelines. A dog, a day, do a that they call the gay do, but the Bahot, a gay gyms and recreation facilities and movie theaters, that that any. Da da a question quite a day, um, in here, eight in his eight in there quite a day, um, they have questions for us. They shine had other day, no quite a day. 
So we looked at transit um, safety guidelines to a Kodadini. Some are wanting to know about summer walks or running events or meetings or what do we do with visitors and tourists that that any a um awkwardly um the more not the safety team with they meet although they have these discussions about the safety of some of these so i've been not a quite a guidelines about and though in public health order number 11 the story a day the um as they were that on their road site and flea market sake but hot don't don't so uh, that Elshin, um, but all the vendors, temporary vendors um, that are providing um, some sort of flea market. This means like not that we don't allow fairs and carnivals, but those are not what the guidelines are for. These are temporary food stands or flea markets that are on that operate daily or on weekends in a mobile unit. That they all have to. Um, comply with the public health emergency order. So I have the um, the other document with the public health emergency order, and that relates to um, the the food. Um, let's see if I can if you guys can see that. Um, And these guidelines are on the Navajo Department of Health, so feel free to go on there and um, look at the guidelines. Let's see. A lot in the so. So, so. So here's the guidelines again. Sorry about that. Um, you'll see this on the um, public health emergency um, webpage on the Department of Health. So. It's very important for those permit holders is to um, make sure they have a current permit under the Navajo Nation, a, six, a tribal health organization, or the IHS office. So, A, they must have a food handler's um, card and also a permit. So there's a link on here because we don't do food handlers training on the Navajo Nation during the pandemic. They can go to this webpage at ihs.gov. Um, at food, food handler Bikaji. So there is a way to get your food handler permit updated. Even though you can work with the um, Navajo Department of Health OEH program. Although temporary food stands are permitted to operate under the same provisions as temporary food service establishment under the um, food code. Um, although, sorry about that. Uh, Also, you're required to display this. And then the ones that are operating flea, um, flea markets or roadside markets, just make sure you are, um, make sure you are um, requiring all the vendors to follow the guidelines as well. So there's guidelines in place. So 
either if a landowner, it might be a chapter house, it might be the Department of Transportation, um, it might be a township, um, someone that's overseeing these roadside uh, markets or flea markets, you're gonna have to be required to um, oversee the vendors to make sure they follow all these guidelines. And if you're an individual on your own land selling stuff, you as a person would need to also follow all these safety guidelines. So, so those are the main requirements in this public health order is that permits and vendors all have updated um, permits and cards and making sure they're visible. Of course, all the other safety rules, making sure that you're not sick when you are operating a flea market. So the flea market vendors have to create a plan, um, making sure um, they have a plan if someone gets sick. Because a lot of the vendors, um, it might be a family owned business. So um, if there is a family member sick with COVID, obviously um, they shouldn't be operating a food stand. So if you're operating a food stand, just be careful that we don't advise you to um, operate when someone is sick in the family, because at that point, you're probably considered a close contact and people should be either isolating or quarantining. Also cleaning and sanitizing areas, although the vendors would also have to report if there are any um, anyone that tests positive to the portal and to their local health uh, facility as well. So if there is a positive, they're required to report to the um, these areas. Although um, signage, there has to be um, a sign as a customer. If you are sick or experiencing symptoms, it's probably best to not um, enter into the vendor area if you're sick and coughing. Also a sign to make sure that everyone practices physical distancing, wearing a mask and washing hands and using a hand sanitizer and making sure that everyone is wearing a mask properly as well. And then physical distancing. So when you're at the flea market or roadside market, making sure there's restriction on common areas where people are likely to congregate or interact. Also ensure that six feet distance between each vendor booth, including equipment and storage areas. And so there has to be, the tables have to be six feet apart and then adjust seating to maintain physical distancing as well. If there's seating areas, especially between different households. Although when you're um, providing food, these are, most of these are also in the Navajo um, Nation codes as well. So identify one person to serve the food and handle the money. And so they're to the extent possible, utilize mobile call-in ordering and touchless pay options. So if you haven't been into Winter Rock recently, there, the area, the shopping area here, they use um, a call-in ordering and they also have um, touchless pay option when you can order food online too. They also have um, your to swipe your card instead of using cash. And they also have the little buzzers like when you need to, uh, when you order your food and you're waiting for food, they have the little buzzers um, so they don't let anyone um, into the area. So you have to stand outside and order. So that's really um, convenient. They've been doing this for a couple of weeks. Also to provide single use disposable plates as well making sure they're all pre-packaged, limit crowding where the food is served and ordered. So provide drive-through and roadside pickup ordering or delivery service is encouraged. No direct hand contact with food is allowed and no use of hand sanitizers when cooking food. And so with cleaning, I think the husband she, but some of the requirements are just to clean on a regular basis. But if there are products being sold at the flea market or roadside market, um, such as clothes or tools, make sure they're um, packaged in a new or sanitized bag as well. And so if you're selling herbs or food or jewelry, make sure they're in a clean bag, not a used bag or a use a shopping bag or a container. Also making sure that um, 
the clothes are washed, whatever you're selling, and to wipe down the tools as well. If you're, I know a lot of people resell their tools. Management entity also needs to frequently restock restrooms with hand washing supplies, including soap and paper towels as well. So those are the requirements. And then in mobile vending, um, they have we have some recommended um, recommendations to make sure there's proper um, ventilation in those areas. So there's definitions for roadside stands and also temporary food vendors also what a management entity is and some resources. So if you're a food vendor or you're wanting to sell at the flea market or roadside market this weekend, just make sure to access the Department of Health webpage and then you'll find recommendations regarding how to operate. So I hope everyone enjoys this new opportunity to go out and about and do some um, things that we haven't done in a very long time. So. So um, practice all the safety precautions and um, enjoy the roadside markets and flea markets, but stay safe as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it over to um, Dr. Burge and and she can provide us an update as well. Dr. Burridge is with Tuba City Regional Healthcare Corporation, also a member of our Health Command Operations Center teams regarding epidemiology and all the numbers that you receive every day um, regarding how we should operate as well. Take it away, Dr. Burridge. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Burridge. Thank you, Dr. Jim, and thank you, President Nez. Um, I am happy to be here this morning. As Dr. Jim mentioned, I am a pediatrician in Tuba City. I'm also helping to lead the um, data translation team for Navajo Nation Health Command. So I'm going to share um, our numbers um, this morning. I know we've seen um, some of the details from President Nez, um, but just want to share some more information. All right, so you should be able to see um, this information here. So you've seen this before. This is the gating matrix in terms of um, helps us determine which phase we're in. Um, so currently, as has been said before, we are in phase or level yellow. Um, and mainly that is because we're seeing here in terms of the new cases per 100,000 population um, over the week, we're seeing sort of in the high 30s and 40s cases per 100,000. So we are still in the yellow phase um, for this metric right here. We will talk through each of these areas as well, but this is the one that's keeping us in yellow. So our goal for green is to have less than nine um, cases per 100,000. So looking at um, the cases, um, so since the beginning of the 2021, we've seen this great decline um, and we have plateaued here over the past um, now a couple of months. Um, we are seeing an average um, of about 10 cases per day. And in the past seven day reporting period, we saw 62 cases. Um, and so that's what we're keeping an eye on. So still in that yellow phase. Um, looking at the RT, um, which as you may recall, is um, a number that helps us understand how many cases are happening as a result of each COVID case. So how many people are getting the vaccine, uh, getting the virus from other people. And over the past seven days, um, the average has been 0.95, um, which is good. That's less than one. Um, so less than one person is being infected for each COVID case that we are aware of. Um, here we're looking at the number of cases in that seven day period per 100,000. So as you can see, it varies by service units. Um, we're still keeping a close eye on Shiprock. Um, so they have the highest number here. Um, Hodgley is also high, um, but overall Navajo Nation it shows that that number is 44 cases per 100,000 over that seven days. And so that's what's keeping us in that yellow level. So looking again at the map level data, um, so we're look, again looking at that same metric in terms of number of new cases per 100,000 people in the past week. Um, and so looking at our service units, so as I mentioned, Shiprock and Gallup are in this darker orange color. Um, and that um, it relates to 50 to 99 cases per 100,000 in the past week. So those are the areas that we're keeping an eye on right now. 
And then also looking at the surrounding four corners. Um, so Colorado, as, as President Nez mentioned, um, is still in that darker red um, color, indicating that there are more than 100 uh, cases per 100,000 in the past seven days. So looking below at the map here, we see by chapter, um, there are 15 chapters in this darker red color um, that we're keeping an eye on. And, and that, again, relates to more than 100 cases per 100,000 in the past seven days. So looking at testing numbers, so we can see that um, overall this blue line and the blue area is showing that we're doing about 300 tests per day across Navajo Nation. Um, and we do see that this yellow or orange line is decreasing, and that is the percent positivity um, over the past seven days, and that's down to about 3.8%, um, which is good. Going to hospital capacity. Um, so both the hospital bed capacity overall as well as the ICU bed capacity are under 80%. Um, and so we do have room, and that is um, reassuring and something that we're keeping an eye on, too. For public health capacity, we're looking at number of contact tracers available across Navajo Nation, and that number is 167, which works out to a ratio of um, 12 contact tracers for each new case. So we are able to track new cases and try to prevent spread through our contact tracing, which has been very successful. And President Nez shared some of these numbers before, but looking at vaccination, so among the sites that are receiving their vaccines from Navajo area IHS, um, it's estimated that 43% of the total user population um, has been fully vaccinated and 56% uh, have had at least one dose, and that's um, slightly different. We're constantly working on trying to improve these numbers, um, and these numbers do not distinguish between Navajo residents, people who actually live on Navajo Nation, or versus people who live off reservation and come to the reservation to get their vaccines. So those are the overall number updates, and I'll stop there. Um, I do want to answer some of the um, questions that have come through the chat. So I've seen a few questions that have asked about um, these concern of myocarditis or heart inflammation um, for children and young adults. Um, and really, uh, what you know, we don't know much information. So CDC has said that there have been um, relatively few cases of mild illness. Um, we don't know the absolute number. Um, we don't, we have not seen any of it here that I'm aware of. Um, CDC has also said that as of now, they don't think that there is what they call a causal relationship um, with the vaccine. So they don't think that these cases have been caused by the vaccine. Um, and it doesn't appear that there are more cases than we would expect normally. So we do know um, that viruses in general and other viruses can cause myocarditis, and we see this um, not infrequently. And so we don't no, we think that this could also just be what the baseline number of cases of myocarditis that we see. Um, so overall, we, we, they are still looking into it. Um, what we do know is that COVID itself and um, MIS-C, which is the inflammatory condition that can affect children after COVID, can cause myocarditis. Um, so um, basically, we do feel that the vaccines are still very safe and effective. Um, we are definitely still encouraging people of all ages to get vaccinated. Um, it, we don't believe it's either one vaccine or the other. We don't have information on that, but I would say that um, any of the vaccines are safe and effective at this point, um, and they work very, very well at preventing infection and preventing spread of infection. Um, so people who have been vaccinated are less likely to spread um, the virus if they have been infected. I do want to mention that it is 95% effective at preventing infection. Um, so that says that we do still expect people um, to occasionally have COVID after vaccination. So that is not surprising. I know each time we hear about a case, we are um, you know, somewhat surprised, but 95% is not 100%. What is great news is that um, the vaccines are almost 100% effective at preventing hospitalization and death, which is what we really care about. Um, so I would encourage everyone um, to still get vaccinated. And as we have shared many times, um, we now have approval for vaccinations for 12, 15-year-olds. Um, so anyone age 12 or older who has not yet been vaccinated, please contact your lo local health care facility um, to get vaccinated. Um, vaccines for this age group will be really important as we plan um, to reopen schools for the coming year. Um, we know that schools are critically important for child development, for education, for physical and mental health, and it has been a long year for our children. Um, and so helping 
get this age group vaccinated will be really important for opening schools um, for the coming year. I do also want to mention um, there are many other rumors circulating out there about vaccination. Um, I'm sure you have seen them or heard them. Um, one that has been coming up frequently recently is um, these reports of death after vaccination. Again, CDC has looked into each of these reports of death after vaccination um, and do not think that there is a causal relationship in terms of they do not believe the vaccine has caused the death. Uh, we do know that we have vaccinated elderly and high-risk individuals, millions and millions of elderly and high-risk individuals um, who have other reasons to have um, been ill or to pass away. And so, um, again, we all the evidence is showing that they are safe and effective, and we continue to encourage people um, to get vaccinated as soon as possible to help prevent um, yourselves, to help prevent your families and your communities. So I we'll pause there. I don't see any other questions in um, my chat that I can see. Um, I will pass it back to Dr. Jim or to Dr. Fowler. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Burge. Yet, Elchik Eloshitne, Shady Kodona, Elchik, Ado, my discussion, Inchno, Turichin, Bashish Chin, Kamahanta, Shido, Kashi Editionale, Ado, Kodana, Old Kit, the Modo, Nak John, Ado, Diki Jukun, at A Kodon Hitchin. Nikit Ishtan, they don't hit in Takwila, Ado is the Ellen and Lenny is at Nikat and Lenny, Ada and Hitcher, the Hat A. Isabahan, the equa a de cousin sonas, eight at the petty ninny, Ado the cost lahund or nilly, Joe Hashin, so the equato, Nihitrahni, don his adult or a needs and a cockado ben hidden down with nates at the unhidden need out a yashik edo shed in there. Is there a bahas bahas lee door? Is there a adult? A cotty cotton here is there eight in it. But oh yeah, the hat ah ek a be e kai a di lit soi be e ka. Hash a di dot iji be at the di ka hat nini gijo a di. Now kit ha the more that a do let lay nast a do ya go. O ka anal kid at a ya nast a na the di ka. O ka o a yue hashi no sa at the chana ke. Chana a dao a di a the da huif job as in the dao a na ka the at the. Then the kit or yana the kit. Joe Edi na kick at Kadaz and I can desert Kaskatin. That is Ka a Konzago Edi Yego ya ya at Zado ya at ya ani. A quadil at you had a hoisto at the ade. Sapeta del na. Doha old sego is the Doha al Yago. She after the door na. Ado Jashi is the Halyan de Ado Sas Yugo, but in Jaga, Ada Hona Nish Jaco, a sort a coena, a sasso, tapa, babe, beta, a hoshi and John Hitin, Hylan Le Nasset, or Ahos and the Nasset, Kaika either Nas Nihida, Hanada, or Nacho, or than his name is the in Ado Din da Al Kahito, a thing da Al Ka. Ako o yu asa a jinti tadene za tingo a nan ki ain da as kahi testing if ne. Ado di is the el ebernaz ago aj a test ek a daho no do bet the hun ye da. Jo e da bet bedil naho da is the el ego da bet a el e. Jo ajin de le na kaye da e do has ada dan ki de ni de ek a da has a. Ado di na a di ki di do o ha yu shik e do shidin ne. Eighteen and Hatchini Yajin, he Yajin here away in Linny, but old Sekosh Ekhit out, um, Satot's appetites in the no Katra eighteen here, three sun in a thinning heart as he a hagar car eta, or your dinner that had seats in the Nika, Edo Ahot, Achin is the Ahot, or what a ponde, Hashina, Lati, but Jay, but the has a day Linny to a or Jenny, it's after. Ada be a young to have his a doge in need of a jashi hot arta of a bit of need in the to a don his bells and that a conde and don't cut on a cart or left in his nekoto is a eat in a hot adi is a chinaba atalia eight a hot deed in the hidden epic hot zoe 
public health order juk ati the mobis kania da saho anna dalia a kadifli market de fnini chiyan da an the nebenalia eta asfan da hane jo e anna nalia konde mi chiton his abeta da des balon da khedo is khades is the asfan da khe aro di hand sanitizer de fnini ka etel saida anda aro ata da Joan Hin Nahana Sla, Dick at the Tada and Dalia. Ado di Nash Nation of Sini, Navo Nation Bandas Nishido, Slash Yugo Enterprise Gondas Nishi, A. A. D. A. Tapi Ya, his the Santa, said Bigo, your Canada and Dalia. Eatan that is Nish. So we're now on our 16th week from our reopening of our Navajo Nation. The Kwasnat is a deputy, Nini Oyo, a kate, the Don Hila, a conde, Joe, I eat that be cut of rat or I eat that be cutita, be cutty cake, a conde, anihe, a da, a wheel yard or be a ha ha needs enough, Joe, quite an hin hassle, a a hitness of responsibility. A coddy is the Bahas Behas Lee Hat Nini. And the action in a kit at the door, the go better, hey, you bahon no. A convert at the car, I don't a mother, a jet, a chain, none. I don't know how at the at sell, don't know how at the old say a death knee, a death knee. Hala codes at the bar or see, but don't know. Nikin yes, jaw, don't eat ego at all, nico at a na, jenna, papa, none he need cash, it ate or shed in there. Ado di nash nishin nash nini Bahanana si di kitan ta te nish Kada tzid has taat a da da mo is li 16th weeks were back Akkod a an da le kajo akon Ni hi kain hi dine ishi ni yen na gani Pa o se to pa ishja o se Jo a do se de zito kwa jonne o taat Jashi Ado, he left end that of Nihit and hit it need. Nasni, he ain't nasni, he is a penny, ye will no she are ni, a con a daughter. Ado a chindle at the Tatata Peta, Heto Yave at the is a dinny banal car. Cosite she now hojish, a she is a in a cotto yet, he's not a hotone. Conne a ad, not now hot lord of no jay. Ad Asian Hata Isan of Sakona Aniki at Ahotia, she paid or she did not. Aniki bet a half no sin. Hago does the yard the arts honest edgy in a door. Dodo Bahos and the Dia is no Kodoshin, Nan, Lini Adoshi Yaj, Nasa do Ahos and the Bini Nahata Kodon, his East Chani in the ill in the end of her heart needs. Do a yo and he need no o a yo cut on his heart be care to her steed. A de ba ba ha needs in. Clahana no nehla needs in when I could a quitcher by none he need car. A an hin ha no slashic edo should na ash corde, there a da for here. I don't know how now far to her joke at all, ne? Me his a bayas kitten dish me. A codin da nishito ba a hair no sin. So la kodo ha shine na de not sin de e na ha ha nia. Ado da bato nina ado di a kint hahona has anito has jot da nishibichi a dust hit. Ah a ni yego a sado ya at e ni hi 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 la. 
ตะเตจาดีขายาดนะตานียาดนะตาชีดีตันขิตอนนี้อาดอตันขิตอนนะนะขาขานีจนีบินนาคดอกตันขิตีนะชิเอดอชินะนะฮิซาบาอะตะ
Quando si è in una situazione di crisi, 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 si